Hello everybody, it's me, Joy Latacoon, back from the holidays in sort of one piece. How you doing? Um, I had a, I had a rough, I had a rough go over the holidays, which is like, okay, it happens, you know, some years are harder than others. Uh, but it really, I don't know, the, the normal annoying New Year's resolution push uh, wasn't as uh, annoying to me this year because I felt like I needed a moment to say like this year I'm gonna do this or not allow this energy or I'm gonna like I don't know move forward and forgive or not fight with as many trolls on the internet yada yada um so I'm relieved it's 2021 even though she's not sure what type of year she wants to be yet um yeah I hope you guys had decent holidays um I always say this, I feel like, but I don't have a ton to talk about this week. Uh, I have a song coming out on Friday with Jensen McRae. Uh, and if you haven't heard of Jensen, she is, she is the best new artist, just period. Like I just, it, she doesn't have that many songs out. I think she has like two or three. My favorite is Wolves. It's exceptional. It's like if Joni Mitchell, uh, decided to stab us in the heart all over again um but she like did a cover of strange fruit she has a song called plague that's great like she just like she does she does good work and we have a song coming out together on friday and i'm very excited because uh it's like it's it's a cool song i wrote it one morning during meditation um i don't know if i've talked about this but i like i spent a little bit of time in india not for meditation purposes uh, but I've always been really inspired by the sounds and the colors and stuff like that. And so I was looking for, I don't know, I just, I wanted to pay homage to that part of my life and to a place I really love. And um, one morning while I was meditating, a riff came into my brain. And so I wrote a song about my exes slash the decline of the American empire and my place in it. And uh and Jensen said yes to writing the second verse and featuring on it with me. So it comes out this week, and I'm stoked. Um, I have I had a song on This Is Us last night. Uh, I haven't had a chance to watch it yet because uh, I am poor and don't have cable. So I'm going to watch it this morning. Um, I'm always really honored when shows choose my music to tell stories. Uh, because that's huge <laughs> you know i watch a lot of tv and i know how important music is and so when like a supervisor or like someone on a team chooses my music to advance that story it like means a lot and i'm always really honored um yeah i'm always just like super honored so i'm excited to watch the scene um i felt like i had one more thing Oh, <laughs> that's awkward. Uh, I got announced as one of YouTube's black voices this week. And I've had to keep this secret for a little while now. And I'm really excited because post the George Floyd protest in the US, there was sort of like this movement of like, we're gonna talk about like helping or fixing the problem or bringing black people to the front. Um, and not that it died down. I really do feel like people are actually changing and like having hard conversations. But I do feel like some corporations like are just like stepping up and putting their money where their mouth is. And YouTube doing this black voices thing is definitely that um, in my personal experience. <laughs> um, and I'm just like, I am stoked because representation is like life changing. Like I... I do what I do because I saw a video of Tracy Chapman playing guitar at Nelson Mandela's birthday. And I, I hope that like for like future generations of black creatives or just creatives period, that seeing someone who looks like me, walks like me, talks like me, like holding a guitar and like singing songs that are maybe like outside of the scope of what we usually consider to be black like i hope it like inspires more people um blackness isn't a monolith and like black music has like it literally you go to the roots of any type of music and there are black people there helping shape it um and so i think that's why i'm so passionate about sticking it out in the 
folk pop Americana roots lane uh, because like we're a part of that story too and like black music and black stories are American and Americana and I like I, that's a hill I'll die on um, and I'm glad that YouTube picked me and saw what I was doing and said like I it's important and we want to share it um so yeah that's really sick I, you may have seen on like the main page they're like highlighting youtube black voices and showing all the videos from different artists in my class jensen is one of those people um so yeah check it out there's some really amazing talented people um on this list um yeah and maybe throw a nice comment my way because there are a lot of white dudes named todd big mad that your girl's on the home page of youtube um anyway i drank some mushroom tea so i think i should log off uh but i hope you guys are well um i hope you ta are taking care of yourself i have upped my meditation therapy exercise everything uh because life is weird and uh and the only thing we have control over is ourselves and our body um so take care of it uh yeah hope you guys are doing well remember i love you and your lord and savior jones is christ loves you she's a little distracted because she's surveying the yard but you get it <laughs>